When you walk into any toy store, you'll be greeted by hundreds of toys lined up on the shelves in different kinds of multicolored packaging, each trying to get your attention. The most common of these packaging types are the blister packs, which is the best example of a packaging type that is produced by vacuum forming. In this two-part video, we'll show you how to get started on making your own blister packs with vacuum form. At its simplest form, a toy blister pack consists of a cardboard backing or blister card where the plastic blister bubble is glued onto. There are usually two types of this kind of blister packaging. One where it's only the blister bubble itself with the toy moving freely inside, or the two-part blister bubble, where you have an insert with the negative of the toy, which gives it more protection and a much nicer presentation of the product. You'll pretty much only need to figure out the dimensions that will allow the toy to fit inside the bubble. The shape can be as simple or as complex as you like. But still, keep in mind the basic principles of making a vacuform tool such as the draft angle and avoiding undercuts or overhangs. Here we modeled and 3D printed the final tool, but you may use other methods of making it as well. Load the sheet onto the frame. Place the tool on the forming area. Input your settings and make as many pulls as you need. When you trim your poles, make sure to leave a bit of an offset along the edges. This is where you'll stick the plastic onto your blister card. Round out the corners if you need to. Apply your adhesive on the bubble. Carefully align the bubble, your toy, and the blister card, then finally stick it on the backing. Wait for it to set, and you now have your first blister pack done! Take some time to admire your work! You've taken a step up in the toy packaging game. Tune into the second part of this video as we step it up a bit higher with the two-part blister bubble. 